This is GeoGebra, and I'm going to show you how we can make a very quick and easy applet for quadratics. So in my quadratic, I'm going to have an A, an H, and a K. So I want to have a slider for my A, and the min will be negative 10, the max will be positive 10. I want to have a slider for my H, and again the min will be negative 10, and the max will be positive 10. And I'm going to have one more slider for my K. And again, min negative 10, max will be negative 10. So now I have these three sliders. I'm going to position them on my grid so they look a little bit nicer. And now I'm going to create my actual quadratic. My quadratic will be y equals a times x minus h quantity squared plus k. And the a is a variable referring to the elements on this slider, h refers to the elements on this slider, and k refers to the elements on my final slider. So when I press enter, I now have a quadratic whose a is equal to 1, h is equal to 1, and k is equal to 1. And over here we can see that we have the uh, standard expansion of that quadratic. Now as I change A, my quadratic is also going to change. When A is negative, my quadratic goes down. When A is equal to zero, of course, I get Y equals K. And so I have the straight line at one. And of course I can make the line um, different colors so I can change the attributes of my conic by going to the object properties, color, and I can make this a nice blue so now I have a blue conic. I can also change my sliders, but why would I do that? At this point, I can now put some text on here. So I want to have y equals, and I always want to have y equals, so I make that as a string. And then I want to concatenate my a on there. And a here is a variable, so I'm going to put in the variable name a. Now I want to add a parenthesis, an x minus... At this point, I want to have my H in there, and I want to have a parenthesis to close that, and then a space and a plus, and then I want to have my K in the very end. So down here, we have kind of an idea of what this, in, what this is going to look like. And boom, there we go. I can change my text, actually, pretty easily by right-clicking it, going to the properties. I can change the color of the, the text to, let's say, red. I can change the size of the text to like a nice medium. And I can also make it look really nice like it's a, a LaTeX formula. Okay. And when I look at it now, that looks a lot better. Now as I change my K, K in the equation, because it was a variable, is also changing. Likewise, my H also changes. And finally, the A changes as well. Um, finally, we can click on the grid itself, and we can add some grid elements there. And that was a two-minute way that we can create an applet that shows students very clearly what the different parts of a uh, quadratic in vertex form does to the quadratic. Thank you.